This tutorial is changing your username in WordPress and this is particularly with um, cPanel. Uh, it's a control management panel for uh, hosties uh, with their web hosts like uh, HostGator, HostMonster. Uh, there, there's quite a few web hosts that use cPanel. Um, but uh, here we go through this uh, tutorial and what we want to do is log into your cPanel. I'm assuming that you do have a web host that has cPanel and uh, hopefully they have uh, P PHP My Admin. so you go and you click on the icon for PHP Admin and some of them will open the same window and some of them will open a new window in the case of mine opens in a new window the databases. So you see you have a list of databases in the sidebar over here and so I'm going to go to the one database that I want to change the username in. Normally um, you can't from your WordPress backend and it tells you that and so um, sometimes for people that's uh, you know not not fun because uh, they find they want to use a different username. Well, you can, but you have to be familiar with uh, altering your database. So, as you can see here on the sidebar, uh, after I click the database, it, it lists all the tables I'm using in WordPress. So, I want to go down to WP underscore users and I click on that link and. and it will list all the users uh, on your blog if you have a multi-user blog of course you're probably going to have quite a few so we see that this first one's admin and a lot of times for security issues we probably don't want to use that and it's probably what you pro by default probably accidentally signed up with so uh, we clicked on the edit right by the little pencil and then we see all these other little tab these little uh, entries this is ID, user login, user pass for the password, user uh, your your name, your nickname, and then your email and URL, and then uh, but we the what we want to focus on in this uh, screencast is the user underscore login. So we want to go all the way over to this area and underneath it's called value. You see where I have admin? Go ahead and delete that and. I'll just put my name in there. So um, once you're done with that, you go down and click go. And it tells you updated the WordPress the WordPress user uh, login uh, for ID one, which was the which was mine, and for this database and. Uh, so that is how you change your username in the case that you need to uh, to get that for security or vanity uh, reasons. All right. I uh, hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, you can find me. My name is now Flores at blondish.net.